Hey guys, I'm Kevin from Halverson Wood Products. Today I'm going to show you how to change a seal kit on 120. Well, if your seal blows, then you will order the seal kit from us and it'll also come with this shim. The tools you'll need are a half inch wrench, inch and a quarter wrench, snap ring pliers, 9 16th socket or wrench, flathead screwdriver, and also a oil filter pliers. So the first few steps that you'll take, you're gonna have to take off your chain guard cover. It's just these two half inch bolts in the back. There's also one up here that you'll have to get. Once you get the cover off, you can go ahead and loosen up these two bolts so you can loosen up your chain to take your chain off. Tension screw right behind the bar here. As you loosen it, it will drop the bar down to loosen up your chain. Set the chain aside. The next, it's kind of tricky, we're going to take off the sprocket. Sometimes you can, if you have a long enough screwdriver, you can hold the sprocket from moving in one of those slots when you loosen this lock nut right here. But I found that an oil wrench, oil filter wrench, does just fine. Like I said, it can kind of be a bugger, but if you had a big vice grips or something, you can get on it. Just to keep that sprocket from spinning so you can get that lock nut loose. Once you got that nut loose, it'll just slide right off. Once you get your sprocket off, they'll reveal your seal right there. That's where your shim is that comes with your seal kit. And we'll remove that snap ring first. And sometimes these can be kind of tricky to get out too, but... So some of you guys, if you got a machine early on, a while ago, you your machine might not have one of these in there. We recently started doing that in the last year. So... Don't worry if yours doesn't have it. Your seal kit will come with one. So that right there is your actual seal. It's a brown, brownish red color. And to get that out, you will take a small drill bit and you'll wanna put a small hole in there or you, if you have some sort of a pick, you can try and pick it out. But the easiest way I've found is to put a small hole into that seal and put a screw and don't go don't drill them far you just bar you just barely going through the seal or just getting through the seal and you'll just take a screw any any screw will work or now you could probably get a pick in there and try picking it out but the easiest way i found is to put a screw in there just a couple little threads, take the pliers or a vice grips, and you'll give that screw a yank and hopefully that seal will pop right out for you. As you can see, they're pretty tight, so that's what your seal will look like, and if it's blown, it'll be all bulged out and maybe have a rip or something. You'll just take your seal, your, your new seal, you'll put that in first and put your shim in front of that. But first, you gotta, you gotta make sure this is in there and seated good, pressed in all the way. So then you'll just take a rubber mallet and if you got something just to kind of work it, work your way around, give it some light taps to get that, make sure that that seal's in there all the way. Don't want to dent it up or anything, just lightly get it pressed in.
sometimes if you got a deep well socket you can put it right over that motor shaft and that works pretty good too you'll want to get it pressed in to where you see that slot for that snap ring then you'll take your shim that comes with your kit you'll put that right in front of that seal you use your your snap ring that comes with your kit or your old one if it's still good and if your machine didn't have a shim your new seal kit will come with a shim so just you'll want to add that you'll take your snap ring make sure you get it into that slot and seated down in there good because looks may be deceiving it might look like it's in there all the way but one edge could be just out just a little bit not pressed in all the way you'll want to make sure it's in that groove all the way around because if you go to run it and you don't got that ring in all the way it the same thing will happen so I just take a screwdriver or something just to kind of push in on it make sure it's in all the way and they can visually check get down in there close and look around and make sure it's really seated in there not sticking out anywhere then there you go that's how you change your seal from then on you can put your sprocket back on realign your sprocket with your bar put your chain back on and you're covered Thank you.